Israel left Gaza in 2005 just and, and forcibly ejected 50,000 Israelis who were living in Gaza. They left all of their infrastructure. They had a big infrastructure of greenhouses where they were supplying fruits, vegetables, flowers, etc. Hamas came in and basically destroyed all of that. Here's what's important to know about Gaza. From the 1967 Arab-Israeli War until 2005, Israel built a number of illegal settlements across the Strip, in violation of international law. The population of Gaza was placed under a crippling military occupation, with ongoing curfews and restrictions of movement, similar to the current situation in the West Bank. In 2003, following the Second Intifada, Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon proposed a policy of disengagement from Gaza, which involved dismantling 25 settlements, and 9,000, not 50,000, Israeli settlers were relocated. Each was compensated $200,000. It was presented to the international community as a token of goodwill by Israel. However, it was sold to Israelis as something else. In 2004, Ariel Sharon's senior advisor, Dov Weisglas, told Haaretz newspaper, quote, the significance of the disengagement plan is the freezing of the peace process. And when you freeze that process, you prevent the establishment of a Palestinian state. And you prevent discussions on the refugees, the borders, and Jerusalem. Effectively, this whole package called the Palestinian state, with all it entails, has been removed indefinitely from our agenda. And all this with authority and permission. All this with presidential blessing and the ratification of both houses of Congress. Following the disengagement, Sharon focused his attention on tightening control over East Jerusalem and the West Bank and rapidly escalated settlement construction. A year later, when Palestinian elections led to Hamas being voted into power, Israel imposed an air, sea, and land blockade on Gaza, cutting it off from all access to the outside world and creating what British Prime Minister David Cameron would later describe as the world's largest open air prison. That blockade has continued to exist for 17 years. So why is Hillary Clinton, a former US Secretary of State and an expert on the Israel-Palestine conflict, promoting a number of inaccurate statements about Gaza, ones that happen to fall in line with Israel's own messaging? Well, let's take a look at Clinton's relationship with Israel. 